What up, YouTube? It's the, it's the boy Knees. I'm back with another video. Come to show y'all some of my new stuff I just grabbed. Your man just came back from the mall. Your man, the thrift, actually. So, you know, your man, I just want to I want to see what y'all think about the new stuff I just grabbed. You feel me? Your man, I guess we could just start off with this right here. Well, this I actually didn't get off. I didn't get from the mall or I didn't get from the thrift. I actually ordered this drink right here from Macari, actually. Boom, there we go. It's a little miniature version of the Ralph's Club. What is it there? This is the Old Day Perfume right here, which is actually, sh which is actually stronger, 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 <laughs> stronger than the the toilet. As far as the colognes go, it's a little mini baby joint. But the Ralph's Club actually smells really good. Mmm. Like to me personally, I think all the polo colognes smell the same to a certain extent. They got like something in them. They all got that I be smelling it. But I definitely think this is one to add to the collection. I got I got many other polo colognes. Look, I'm dropping stuff. Look, I got the I got the polo black. It also it actually almost smell like this a, l a little bit. Like some something in this is in this. But it's a new upgrade. I can't wait to use it to see what I smell like in the streets, y'all. Y'all know what time it is. Let me put this back. I mean, but for the most part, man, I'm just enjoying life, y'all. I mean, taking it one day at a time, taking care of my wife, taking care of my kids, y'all. You know what I mean? I'm hoping that everybody can relate at the end of the day. If you anybody out there that fuck with polo, that taking care of your kids and doing what you gotta do, and you know what I mean? Just being a man out here, just keep it up, man. Alright. Let me see. My fault, y'all. I'm trying to keep some music going. Y'all gotta put me on. I'm new to this. Somebody put me on how to keep my music flowing and you know what I mean? Cause I'm trying to have a little bit of background music while while, while I'm doing my little situation. So y'all just holler at me. But alright, this the next thing I grabbed. It came all of this all of this this and the two things I'm about to show you all came in the bundle, all from Macari. You know what I mean? And I think it was probably like $20, so I it was a calm little joint that I was, you know what I mean? If you do Ralph, you, and it's cheap, you grab. Here we go. This is actually a, what do you call it? A key fob, a key chain, whatever you want to use it as at the end of the day. I'm actually going to use it on my belt loop because I'm that different, you know what I mean? Y'all think about that. Like, what would you put this at other than your key? You know what I mean? I don't know if it came in a bundle together. I don't know if this was, like, something that maybe came in a set. But they was getting rid of it. And it actually came with this drink right here, too. A little sample of the Polo Red. You know what I mean? Which is one of my least favorite Polo colognes. I'm not going to lie. I'll probably get this to my son. I'm not a big fan of Polo Red. For some reason, everybody, this is the for for this is the one that everybody like right here, the red one. But to me, this is one I don't like. But you know, and believe it or not, it's crazy because I even got hold up, y'all. Don't mind all my stuff dropping down from here. I'll get it back up later. I say that that's the one I don't like, but it's crazy because. Got the big one, you know what I mean? I got this all in a set. I got the big one, and then I, I also got the spray too, which I haven't even opened yet. But these was all gifts right here, y'all. So don't think I'm a hypocrite. My folks bought me this. But I'ma use it though. You know what I mean? Only on the show that other people like it. My wife like it. Mm-hmm. This is you know what? Mm, it do smell good, but it's just one of my it's my least favorite. Let's just say that. It's my least favorite. You know what I mean? If you want to get into that. And I got all the other flavors too, though, man. Don't get it twisted. I don't just got that. Oh, here we go. Look, I was supposed to be just reviewing these little joints for now, but I'm going to just show y'all all my little, that the colognes I got just to start them off. You feel me? It's a little dusty. I ain't used this joint in a minute. Mm, boom. Big black. This also came in a set with a bunch of other little, you know, what was it? Shaving cream and something else. But this smell good though. I mean, 
they all attention seekers, attention getters. So you can't go wrong with them. And they not cheap. I mean, they not they not too expensive. Hold up. Here we go. I got one last joint to show y'all. This joint. I opened it. How much, is, how much did I use out of this? I barely used any of this, y'all. Let me smell this again. I use this so little that I always forget what this this even smell like. It don't smell bad. I feel like this is like a summer flavor, uh, summer, summer fragrance. And it's spring now. It's just becoming spring. So I'll probably just pop this out probably, you know, another month, two from now. And see what it hit for in the summertime. But stay tuned. I'll maybe I'll probably do a review on this when the weather get right. To really get an accurate a test on, you know, how good it smells to the people. But all right, what I really wanted to get into though, let me put all this to the side. What I really wanted to get into on the low was a few hats that I had grabbed and had for a little bit of time. And I just wanted to, you know, just shed some light on them a little bit. Because that's my thing. If you don't know by now, my, my, my channel started off with me just showing hats. That's because that's what I really rock with. And not just any hat, polo hats. You feel what I'm saying? Like I'm trying to build the biggest collection that you probably can imagine. You know what I mean? I'm taking it one hat at a time. So, all right. We're going to start with a couple... I'm dropping everything, cousin. Y'all got y'all gotta put me on, man. So I can do this thing right. Alright. First thing we're gonna start off with a couple beanies. Got a few beanies to, to review. Alright, first start off with this drink right here. Hold up. Let me run my let me run my music back. There we go. Alright, here we go. Let's start off with this drink right here. This is a calm navy. Calm navy beanie. If you peep, I still got the little plastic tab on there. I still got all the tags on it. Not trying to be flexing, but I actually do not. I had these hats for about four or five months now. All winter, never worn. There's something about these hats. They don't look right on my head. Like, hold up. Let me try to show y'all what I'm talking about, man. Don't don't geek on me. I need a haircut, y'all. My thing's in there, too. I'm spinning. Hold up. Look how these joints look. See? I don't... I... Depends on how you carry it. See, I'm from Philly where we, we wear our hats like this, like on a beanie tip, like like on a skelly up top. And I just feel like these are a little bit too thin for that, you know what I mean? So I just kind of kept them on some souvenir type times. Maybe one day in the future, I might find a way to put these drones on. But for now, I just keep them on my, I just keep them on my little dresser as just a little souvenir piece, y'all. We got this joint. Then we also got the gray with the blue horse. You know what I mean? They all pretty much fit the same exact way, and that's the problem. They fit like a damn, like a bottle cap without a brim. Look, look at that. I do not like the way these joints fit, man. Somebody gotta put me on, man. Let me see how y'all rock these joints. Hold up. Like in the comments, subscribe. Yeah, man, too, y'all. Don't, don't forget to do that, man. I be forgetting to say that on a lot of my videos because I'm still new to this. But if y'all know, y'all know, man. Like, if you really part of YouTube and you really want to see more of my content, like, just like and subscribe because I'm going to have more videos for y'all. But, all right, that was the great joint. Boom. You know what I mean? Then we're going to move on. We're going to go with this one right here. We got the tan joint. And like I said, they all fit the same. So I couldn't really find a way to finesse them. Mind you, I got to... A jacket or a shirt or something to match with each and every one of these but for some reason I just didn't never put these joints on you know what I mean and another thing too let me shed light on these these every last one of these I found was actually in Ross like I think maybe hold up let me see maybe one of them I found I think I found this one at TJ Maxx you know what I mean? And they all went for cheap, too. They was only $12.99. So that was the main reason I grabbed it and just felt like, you know what? Whether I wear the joint or not, I'm going to just carry it. You know what I mean? I'm not really too much of a reseller, but I know I might probably can get a dub off of this at least. You dig me? You know what I mean? And it still got the tags on them. So, but for right now, they just on ice until maybe I, you know, I put it together the right way. Let's just see that. And then I got one more beanie for y'all. This joint right here. And I mind you, I didn't see too many people with this joint. But I seen a nice abundance of people. I know they came out with this one. Maybe I think it was a 
green. I know it was a green one. And I think maybe it was a blue one. They always tough to me. I'm not going to lie. With all the little, you know what I mean? Credentials on this drink, cousin. Got the tiger right here. Got the star. Got this badge right here on it, man. You can't. Come on, man. This is a nice head at the end of the day. But like I said, this is the same way with them Jones. Fit stupid on me. You know what I mean? Look. Yeah. I can't rock with these drinks, cousin. I ain't going to hold you. This is a good souvenir joint, though, man. And I got this joint for the low. Everybody was trying to tax. Yo, listen. When this hat was hot in the winter, man, I seen folks trying to tax for this joint, cousin. This joint was selling for up to a bean, which is $100 here in Philly. And it's like, I would never, especially being as though I don't, I can't even, I'm a souvenir of this joint. I ain't even going to wear it. You know what I mean? And then for those who don't know, this is the joint Soldier Boy had. Go look up Soldier Boy and look at this is the joint that he wore. You know what I mean? But all right, that's it with the, that's it with these. Y'all see them. You know what I mean? And believe it or not, if I keep running across these joints, I'm gonna keep grabbing them. It don't even matter to me whether I wear them or not. So that's it with the skellies. We can toss them to the side here. You know what I mean? Put the skellies over here. Let me see. Let me put them right here. Boom. Next. Is another another set of hats that I don't really get into at all, but I do get them if I ever find them, just just for collectors' purposes of it. You see what I'm saying? So here we go. Buckets. It's like I am not. For some reason, man. Like I done seen people wear these drinks and really crush it. Like you know what I'm saying? I done seen boys wear these drinks and really look 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 like they were stunting in these drinks. Especially if you got the right fit to match it, everything goes. But for me, for some reason, with this bean ass head I got, I can never wear these joints and they look right to me. I think I'm the Black Gilligan's Island with this motherfucker. Look, look. Then he always got to tell you gotta you gotta bend them right or something. Like, then it's like I don't want to turn the bitch into a cowboy hat. So it's like, like I said, this is never one of them. Just probably resell value joints. Just keep it for the purpose. And sometimes I ain't gonna hold you. Maybe in the summer, if I hit the beach or something, sometimes I don't even care. When it's like that, when it's a utility purpose as far as just trying to keep the sun out, then I maybe wear the joint. But you can, I could, it'll take some time for me to learn how to rock this right because it's, it's not my style. I don't really do it. You know what I mean? But, you know, got this joint. And what it is is the plaid. It got a little plaid lining, banner around the joint. It's just. It's a real calm hat, man. It's a khaki blue, plaid banner, yellow yellow horse. You know what I mean? And I'm trying to think. I think I ended up finding this. No, I did not find this at a thrift. This came with a, a bundle of hats that I bought off of Macari. Now, like it's like I said, like I, I don't even think I actually wear this hat yet. I ain't, I ain't wear it yet. But, you know what I mean? Got the same plaid lining in the inside. And that's the tough thing about it. I wish it was reversible. That would that, that would be crazy about it. But it's calm. Go right with the rest of them. In the tub. Then the next joint we got, we got this joint right here. You know what I mean? I believe they call this chambray. Got the chambray joint with the with the lime green horse. This definitely give me my summer vibes. I think I got a pair of uh shoes polo shoes that's like this and maybe i even got a shirt to go with this too but you can't go with the jean chambray look you know what i mean so you know you know what i mean and then not only that hey army what's up baby oh i miss your video oh that's my wife she pops in on me y'all y'all know how she do but all right you good, baby? You already know. But, uh, you got the, uh, this joint, like I said, give me the summertime vibes, you mean? Got the, it got the, I don't even know what the hell is on this joint, you mean? What is it? It's some type of flower, though. You know what I mean? Some type of flower. But it's definitely a nice hat, man. With the colors that's in it, man, you can flavor this joint with a, with a lot of different things, man. And like I said, especially in the summer when you're on the beach, man, it don't matter. It don't matter what you wear with this, man. You in. You see what I'm saying? And like I said, this... See, this one fit a little bit better than the other one because I think it's a little bit bigger. But for the most part, these joints be fitting like a... 
like a real bucket on my head like like they be fitting like a real bucket but this joint cool though in the summertime i'm gonna I'm a find a pair of shorts or something to go with this and i'm in i'm wearing this right the wildwood yeah man but all right that was it for that one yeah you know I mean next i'm gonna go to a couple more drinks for y'all now these joints right here is on a whole nother spectrum 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 like these joints is on a tip where it's like it changed the game up a little bit like where ralph kind of did a collab and you know so we're gonna start with the plain and simple the, the start of it all with it this joint right here you know I mean it's the calm new york yankees I mean, I will, I, it's definitely a fitted, but it's not a 5950. It's a 4950 fitted. You know what I mean? And it got that, it got that, that, that funny shape to it, should I say? But for the most part, this is a good hat, man. I never was the bull to grab one of these hats, but when I seen that Ralph did a collab with New Era, and which is one of my favorite, I, I, I got a, a ton of New Era hats that I get to one day. You know what I mean? But once they did the collab with them, it was over, man. I'm not even gonna hold you. You know what I mean? And if you peep, it come with the it come with the Vintage Polo tag. It come with the MLB Ralph Lauren tag. And you know the MSRP and all that. You know what I mean? It come with the got the limited edition. You know what I mean? And all your other basics when it comes to a new era hat. If you you know what I mean? If you know, you know. Um yeah, like this is a this a calm joint, man. I like this joint. You know what I mean? If it, it, I don't pop my tags off my head, so I always gotta wear the joint a little bit up top off my head on a shirt that if I rock it all the way down, then the tag sticks out and it look like I'm I'm looking crazy. You know what I mean? So I always just rock it up top, and with the shit I be having on, like it don't ever be mad at me. Like you know what I'm saying? And this is I'm gonna keep it a bean. This is not a hat that you can. I mean, I don't look bad like this, but it's not one of them hats that you can. That you can call twisting it to the back with, man. I would just, I would play it on the norm. You know what I mean? Boom. Simple as that. You know what I mean? This the original navy, navy blue. You know what I mean? You got the original navy blue joint right here. You know what I'm saying? Which is the first one that came out. I believe they had a jacket to come with this. A shirt. Every Everything to match this joint came out. You know what I mean? Which is not bad at the end of the day. Calm joint. I'm going to move on to the next one, y'all. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. I can rock this joint today. You know what I mean? We got the all red joint. I call this the Spike Lee version right here. Because this the joint Spike... I ain't gonna hold you. This the joint Spike had commissioned. Not this exact Ralph Lauren joint, but Spike commissioned New Era to make him an all red Yankees hat, and which was never done. And I think this was like 97 or whatever. You feel me? So I deem this joint the Spike Lee. And it's the same as that blue one, man. It's, you know, it's phenomenal, believe it or not, man. It's, it's you know, it got everything you might want to have, man. Look at this. You know what I'm saying? Look how it look on top. Can't go wrong with the joint, you know what I mean? I always had all my caps on relaxed fit. It don't matter how it look on my head, believe it or not. Unless it's a bucket. I don't do buckets. But, and, and, and beanies. But when it was it's a cap, I play it how I play it. You know what I mean? It don't even matter. You know what I mean? Because I feel like the hat says a lot on its own at the end of the day. You know what I mean? This is a kind of thorough joint that you can switch it up with. It don't match with every single red, I'm not gonna lie. You know what I mean? But you can pull it off at the end of the day. If you a hat wear, you can definitely pull this joint off. I wouldn't recommend rocking this hat every single day because I do feel like at one point in time, this hat is gonna raise in value. And um, it's gonna be a limited edition type of joint where you go to look for it and you're not gonna be able to find this hat without getting text on it. So just, you know what I mean? For me, I'm, I'm keeping it light, I'm keeping it calm. I wear my joints, but I don't wear them to death you feel me i keep it simple i mean but we're gonna go on to the next hat though y'all here we go got guy right here man 
Hold on, let me get all this lint off of this one. See, this one made from a different material, so it keep a bunch of lint on his head. Man, I can't keep the lint off this joint. But all right, here you got the, you got the tartan, black watch, plaid edition, New York Yankees. You know what I mean? And it's the same as the other ones, y'all. Limited edition tag in the inside. Retro polo polo tag. New era. All the new era business that's on there. MSRP. Ralph Lauren MLB tag. And then you got the retro polo tag also, y'all. This is another one of them hats that I feel like in, in some time. Price is gonna rise for this hat for surely. They already try. I looked on the on the on the on Macari and seen this hat for then the two hundred dollars right now. Mind you, it just sold out on the site. So I feel like another year or two from now, when it's super duper hard to get this hat, people gonna be trying to charge folks up, especially this hat. Maybe not the rest of them as much as this one, but a lot of people I feel like did not buy this hat and they slept on it. So when the time come when they go to try to get it the next time, getting taxed. Yeah, man. All right. Hold on, y'all. I got more work for y'all. I told y'all I was just at the... Oh, let me throw my hat back on. I told y'all I was just at the factory. Yeah, man. Just picked up a few things. 